Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. The Black Christian Monks of Europe, the Dark Ages. Saint Benedict. He lived 480 A.D. to 548 A.D. He is considered a patron saint of Europe. A patron saint. A patron saint. Patronus saint. Patron hollow or heavenly protector is a saint who in Catholicism Angelicanism or Eastern Orthodoxy is regarded as the heavenly advocate of a nation, place, craft, activity, class, clan, family, or person. Benedict of Nursa. Benedict of Nursa, born the 2nd of March, 480 AD, died. March 21st, 548 AD, often known as St. Benedict, was an Italian Christian monk, writer, and theologian who is venerated in the Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Oriental Orthodox Churches, the Angelican Communion, and Old Catholic Churches. He is a patron saint of Europe. Saint Benedict, a patron saint of Europe. He was the son of a Roman noble of Judeo-Syrian origin from Nosa the modern Norsa and central Italy. The rule of St. Benedict is a book of precepts written in Latin in 516 by St. Benedict for monks living communally under the authority of an abbot. Benedict contributed more than anyone else to the rise of monasticism in the West. His rule was the foundational documents for thousands of religious communities in the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages. To this day, the rule of St. Benedict is the most common and influential rule used by monasteries and monks more than 1,400 years after its writing. The Royal Monastery of San Lorenzo D. L. Escurio, located in Spain, built in 1563 to 1584. Monastery. A monastery is a building or complex of buildings comprising the domestic quarters and workplaces of monastics, 
monks or nuns, whether living in communities or alone hermits. A monastery generally includes a place reserved for prayer, which may be a chapel, church, or temple. It may also serve as an oratory, or in the case of communities, anything from a single building, housing, only one senior and two or three junior monks or nuns, to vast complexes and estates, housing tens or hundreds. A monastery complex typically comprises a number of buildings, which include a church, dormitory, cloister, refectory, library, boundary, and infirmary, and outlying granges, depending on the location. The monastic order and the occupation of its inhabitants. The complex may also include a wide range of buildings that facilitate self-sufficiency and service to the community. These may include a hospice, a school, and a range of agricultural and manufacturing buildings, such as a barn, a forge, or a brewery. Gransania Monastery, Kosovo. The Abbey of Monte Cassino, established by St. Benedict. In English usage, the term monastery is generally used to denote the buildings of a community of monks. In modern usage, convent tends to be applied only to institutions of female monastics, nuns, particularly communities of teaching or nursing religious sisters. Historically, a convent denotes a house of friars, reflecting the Latin, now more commonly called a friary. Various religions may apply these terms in more specific ways. Monte Cassino Abbey. Etymology. The word monastery comes from the Greek word monasterios, from monazin, to live alone, from the root monos, alone. Originally, all Christian monks were hermits. The suffix terion denotes a place for doing something. The earliest extent use of the term monasterion is by the first century A.D., Jewish philosopher Philo in On the Contemplative Life, Chapter 3. What is really interesting when referencing Philo, the Jewish philosopher of Alexandria, Egypt, is that some modern historians believe the monks of Europe were descendants of Levite priests. And that history is a topic for another time. And this icon, this St. Benedict icon, can be found in St. Sophia Cathedral, Novgorod, Russia. The city of Novgorod map. Novgorod, to the north, is the city of St. Petersburg. To the south is the city of Moscow, Novgorod, Russia.
St. Sophia, Cathedral, Novgorod, Russia. This icon and many others depicting the children of Israel as people of color still hang on the walls of churches visited by Europeans and non-Europeans, tourists from around the world to this very day. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 Russian great thesis thesis means icons with prophets The Great Thesis of St. Sophia Cathedral Saint Benedict. The early Middle Ages have been called the Benedictine centuries. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth said that with his life work, Saint Benedict exercised a fundamental influence on the development of European civilization and culture and helped Europe to emerge from the dark night of history that followed the fall of the Roman Empire. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God I will also forget thy Children, Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. For 2,000 years, the children of Israel were depicted as people of color throughout the churches, cathedrals, temples, and synagogues of Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. The people of these regions still hold these icons or images as venerable memorials 
of these holy men and women who lived and walked the earth. In times of troubles, they remembered these people's lives and hope for inspiration to overcome difficulties. Today, their descendants are among the most hated, misunderstood, and despised people on the face of the earth. Paradoxically, as entertainers, athletes, and media personalities, they are the most imitated, loved, and famous people on the face of the earth. The Roman Empire was a multicultural civilization and the children of Israel traveled its paved roads from the Tiber to the Rhine. Trajan War was known to them and back to the Euphrates, the border of the empire. The Nile River and the deserts of Carthage was their playgrounds. From slave to soldier to emperor and back to slave again and everything in between. Beggars, merchants, princes, poets, and priests. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9.